What do you think of when you imagine a robot? Is it this or this? Robots have come a long way in recent years, but they're still far from being able to think and act like humans. This is because they're only programmed to perform specific tasks, or they learn from demonstrations, which makes them inflexible and unable to adapt to new situations. But what if there was a robot that could learn and adapt on its own? A robot that could understand the world around it and take action based on its own understanding? That's the promise of Google DeepMind's new visual language action model, or VLA, called RT2. This model can help robots to translate visual inputs and natural language commands directly into robotic action. And this will prepare robots for unique situations that they couldn't experience during standard training patterns. RT2 can learn to perform new tasks simply by being told what to do. It can also learn from its own experience, adapting its behavior on the go. For example, if you ask it to pick up an apple, it'll do so by reading or hearing a command in our natural language. We're going to take a closer look at RT2 and its capabilities. We'll see how it works, what it can do, and most importantly, what it means for the future of robotics. DeepMind has been working on RTX models for some time. Their first release was the RT1 model at the end of 2022, which was trained on large-scale data. They trained 13 robots over a period of 17 months, collating demonstration data, which showed a 97% success rate for this model. Then came RT2, which is a VLA model that can process both visual and linguistic information. The VLA models are trained on massive data sets of images and text which allows them to learn the relationships between objects, actions, and words. Once a VLA model has been trained, it's then able to answer questions about images and videos, translate between languages, and perform robotic actions. VLA has three main parts. The first is a visual input system that takes images from the robot's camera and extracts features such as object shapes, colors, and texture. Then the natural language processing system takes language commands as inputs and translates them into sets of instructions that robots can understand. Lastly, an action planning system takes instructions from a natural language processing system and generates a sequence of actions that the robot can take. In simple terms, RT2 works by translating visual inputs and natural language commands directly into robotic actions. Let's break it down with an example. If a robot's camera captures an image of a table with a cup on it, the visual input system would extract features from the images such as distance, shape, or the color of the cup. Then, when a human asks the robot to pick up the cup and place it on the counter, the NLP system would translate this command. As a result, an action planning system would generate a sequence of robotic actions, such as moving the robot's arm to the cup, holding the cup, and moving it to the counter. The robot successfully performs this task based only with a voice or text command that was given in English or any other language. So how could the RT2 model be used? How could it benefit mankind? Google DeepMind released a paper that highlights many interesting use cases for RT2, and the results were incredible. RT2 can pick up and place objects of different shapes, sizes, and weights. It can also hold objects in different ways, depending on the object's shape and orientation just as we humans hold a plate differently than a cup. RT2 can also navigate through an environment that's cluttered with multiple obstacles. Previous generations of robotics would get confused in a situation like this because they weren't programmed to handle unexpected scenarios. It can also make decisions based on reasoning. Since RT2 has access to web-based data, it'll use that data to acquire knowledge and concepts that help it to reason and take the relevant action. For example, Deciding which drink is best for someone that's tired. RT2 would reasonably recommend an energy drink by learning that energy drinks contain caffeine and that caffeine can boost energy. It can break down problems using logic and come up with a solution. As an example, using a rock as a substitute for a hammer. In the absence of a hammer, RT2 can figure out that a rock is also hard and heavy and would do the job. And you can talk to RT2 just like you would with Siri, Alexa, or any other AI assistant. The big difference is that now you'll get a response in the form of an action. So if you ask it to go to the kitchen and get a glass of water, it will do just that. These are basic examples, but imagine the possibilities. Humans could delegate household tasks to robots, giving us more free time. Or in the education sector, imagine robots teaching science or history using natural language and visual aids. 
And imagine how life-changing this could be for those that can't function independently or the elderly in need of specific care. In hospitals and nursing homes, robots could help patients get in and out of bed or deliver meals and medication. If robots could perform the tasks of humans, following verbal instructions and using independent thought, logic, and reasoning, it would change the world forever. Of course, it's early days, and these robotics models are still under development. They've not yet been tested on a large scale or within commercial environments. And there are still many questions to be answered on the subject of regulation. Who's ultimately responsible for the actions of these robots? How do we ensure that they're used for good? And how will we prevent robots from becoming too powerful? But it's safe to say that sci-fi is becoming reality.